So I guess today is kind of like a sad or bittersweet day, you could say. Um, we're starting the unmodding of the red car. And I know this probably isn't too big of a shock for most of you guys that are actually like, you know, consistently watch the channel because you probably watched the last video and me talking about it. It's, it's it's such a hard decision, you know what I mean? Like it's, I don't want to like actually do it. Well, okay, I shouldn't say that. I want to do it. I don't want to actually do it, you know what I mean? I'm not going to go over all this again. Um, I said it all in the last video. But I just don't want somebody to drive this car and like ruin it. Because it's bound to happen with Stance cars. Like you can go watch anybody or go listen to anybody's story about when they sold their Stance car. It always gets destroyed. It always ends up messed up in the end. And I just can't have that or can't I just can't see that happen to this car in this state because of the amount of work that I put in. So I'd much rather just unmod it and put it back to a stock form, I guess, stock form. Um, I'm gonna go over everything that I'm probably gonna end up doing, switching out on the black car. Try to raise the black car's value just a little bit um, to not have to sell all those parts individually, which I'm sure it'll definitely help um, for a few things and a few OEM parts that I'm putting back on the red car. Um, for value reasons or reasons to widen the uh, market for this car. And if you guys have realistically been watching for like the length of this channel, you'll know that this car really hasn't been slammed, slammed for that long. Like it really is very nice underneath still. There's, of course it's like scraped up a little bit um, from more of the recent times, but it's still very nice underneath. The frame rails are still straight. They're not banged up super bad. They're a little scraped. Uh, the exhaust isn't worn through or nothing crazy like that. The bolts are all good. So, like, I'm at the point of, like, this car is good to still be sold and I can make money and get something new. Okay, so I'm done talking about this stuff. I'm sorry. I literally just said I wasn't going to sit here and talk about it for a minute. I did. Um, but some things we're going to do. Um, of course, I'm probably going to be selling the hardtop separately to one of my buddies that wants it. Um, and I'd rather just keep giving... I'd rather sell some parts to like some of the homies for like a decent deal if I can, just because like I would like to see parts of my car live on in like my other homies' cars, I guess. <laughs> um, but uh, the hardtop's gonna be sold separately. Um, it's gonna go back on stock wheels, of course. I got the original set for the red car. Red car is probably going to go on the black car stocks and the black car is probably going to go on the red car stocks just because I think they look better. Um, steering wheel is going to get switched out. Head unit is probably going to get taken out. Stock shift knob is definitely going to go back in. Um, lower arms, of course, are going to get switched out. Upper arms. Uh, I'm not sure if I want to do upper arms yet. In the rear, I think I might just because it's simple enough to do them and uh, gives you like negative like two degrees of camber once you lower it. So I think I'm just gonna put the stock arms back in it since I have them sitting over there. Um, the front, I'm not too sure yet. We'll figure that out when I get there. But I gotta get lower arms for this car um, as well, front lower arms. I guess I should update you guys, it's been a minute. Um, as you see, there's like no camber at all on the rear of the red car anymore. And it's back on a 16. Um, currently, the car is in the air. Both cars are in the air. Um, I swapped the BC off the spring. You see that right there? Um, and put it on this car. So it's on the stock AKs, which this car is gonna feel incredible with these BCs on, I already know. Got the rest of the three right here. Uh, I've showed you guys like most of me doing all this shit before. That's why I'm not showing you too much. Let me turn off this fan real quick. Um, we're gonna go ahead and take this spring and coil off the uh, car. Or off that coil. Put the other one back on and then throw it onto this car. I gotta get this coil over out. 
Um, the wheel's just broken loose. Nothing else is out yet. Shouldn't be too hard. I'm gonna call it after that for the night because it has already taken me so long to do all this and uh, I'm tired and it's was like 80 something degrees out today. So it was pretty warm. I've been sweating all day, so kind of exhausted. So we're just gonna get these rears done. Shouldn't take too much longer. Yeah. Oh, I got the, uh, let me show you. I also went ahead and took the upper control arms out. You can see the other one is sitting right there on the ground. Uh, the rear upper control arms, I should say. So, uh, no more camber. This thing's got some like wild drift stance going on with it. I mean, a little bit too much camber for drift stance, but it looks uh, pretty weird. Yeah, we're gonna get back to it. I gotta pop, or I gotta rebuild that and then pop that coil over out. As you can see, that forward was ticking like a motherfucker. As you can see, uh, I got the spring back on here, sorry. And uh, we're gonna go ahead and take this coil over out and throw it in. All right, and as you can see, the black car is now back on the ground on both sides. It's now on BC coilovers in the rear. It's John. I gotta put the interior back together and finish tightening everything down. But this John is now on tines and stock up our arms. Still like very bittersweet as we're going, but I also realized like as we're going, not that sad about it. I'm just kind of like, I'm thinking I'm gonna miss it over time a lot more than what I feel bad for doing right now. I'm honestly really excited to see how the black car drives on BCs. Uh, and I am basically finished up over the night. I'm gonna keep going probably tomorrow morning when I get home from work. Um, or not tomorrow morning, sorry. Tomorrow evening when I get home from work and do the fronts and get hopefully the fronts on the black car uh, done and put back together so I can drive it. I can drive right now, so like I said, that's why I'm only doing the rears right now, just in case. Um, so yeah, we're gonna keep getting this all tight and put back together, put the wheel back on and back on the ground. All right, so we are back for day number two of working on the red car and the black car daily. Um, and getting them, uh, the suspension switched around and the red car basically back to stock uh, form. And so far it's going all right. It took me a while to work on both the cars yesterday because of course I basically did four corners if you count both rears in both cars. So it took a minute and plus I had to do a whole bunch of other stuff. But um, today we're working on the fronts and this is going to take even longer, unfortunately. And we already got a late start to today. On top of, I need to find lower control arms because as you guys know, I idiotically cut and welded, had Jeremy cut and weld my fucking lower control arms just to turn this bitch back to stock um, a month later. So I have to find lower control arms, unfortunately. So I have to find lower control arms, unfortunately, which sucks, but that is okay. Um, I'm either gonna have to just end up ordering them. I think they're only like a hundred dollars. Either end up ordering them or buying them uh, on Facebook Marketplace if I can even find them. I can't find anything I need on Facebook right now. It's like people are just hoarding parts for literally zero reason. And it's dumb. But besides that, um, we're just gonna start hammering this out. I got both cars in the air already, as you guys can see. Well, not completely in the air, but ready to be worked on in the jacks. Um, just switching the BCs around. Okay, so that coilover is basically ready to come out. We got the bolts out. I just have to press it down and get it out. The, this coil lever is out and I flipped the ball joint so that's ready for the tine and I gotta rebuild this one put back in here and that'll be ready to go in so uh, it's coming along we just gotta keep going okay so I wasn't joking by saying we're going all out and like turning this thing back to stock we're stealing the eyes off of the daily these are actually the uh, headlights that came off of this car originally so we are uh, taking them back off of that car and putting them back on here and putting the halos on this car again, like it used to have. Um, 
So yeah, we're just gonna go ahead and switch everything over. And this isn't really that hard. The halos are pretty simple. It's two bolts and some lights and they'll have to rewire the things, take all the wiring out of this car. And we should be good to go. Shouldn't be too hard at all. Okay, so this is almost done. Um, all that's together. I gotta wire this together and that'll be done. Uh, and then put that headlight in. But I just wanted to give you an update. It's kind of the biggest change, honestly, uh, to this car. Like, let alone the height. When I put these headlights on, it like completely changed the look of the car for me and like a whole bunch of people. Um, like for Jeremy and all that, they all loved the headlights and thought it looked a lot better in stock. And I agree with them, especially with the theme in the car of the black and red. It looks so good. And uh, it's sad to see it go, honestly. Um, this whole car is changing back to literally how I bought it, basically. Uh, to go to the next owner that hopefully takes good care of it and does something fun with it. Like I did. Hopefully he keeps it for the rest of his lifetime. But yeah, let's keep going. I got to take the stickers off. I'm going to do that soon. Probably next, honestly. I have to be careful for the tint. I just remembered. Okay, so we got the tines on this, the BCs on this. You can see up here, BC. Um, the height difference isn't too drastic of a change, so you won't really be able to notice. Plus, it's already in the air, so it doesn't matter. But this, of course, is drastically different. Um, it's back on 16s. It's still on extended arms. I took all the camber out of the upper arm. Um, this is crazy, though. With the... Uh, somehow, it has zero, almost zero camber with... It has a tiny bit. Maybe, like, one degree of camber um, with my lowers like for like negative eight ish it's kind of crazy that this almost has zero degrees but um of course it needs to get raised but i'm not sure how much it's going to go up once i get the other side done so it'll go up a good amount uh like that did so i'm gonna wait on that uh, i'm still gonna get lowers i think for legality reasons just in case the welds ever end up breaking on this i don't want to get in trouble um but the i want to say the fitment on this is kind of crazy uh, with the little almost like one inch I would say extension no it is one inch extension extension sorry and uh, the spacers look at this on the stock wheels the wheels turned a little bit can't really see it but it's turned a little bit so it's a little but the fitment is crazy on this it looks so good of course I'd end up fucking these um, fenders up with these squishy ass coilovers but it looks good um, like I said, it's going to get raised, of course, and different arms, so the fitment will be a little worse. And I'll have to adjust that arm up top to give me zero, to zero out the camber a little more. But yeah, uh, we're going to keep going. Uh, I just have the one side to do and then adjust everything, adjust everything <laughs> once I uh, get it all in. And then, of course, I have to mess with the lower control arms once I figure that out. Um, but yeah, we're gonna knock this out. Hopefully I can get this out in a decent amount of time. Let's go. All right, so the black car is on the BCs. So you can see there's way more camber and it's like tucked way harder. So I'm gonna have to raise it a little bit so it stops doing that. Um, same with on this side, I have to raise it a little bit. It's like a little tucked and it's not great. The back is also a little tucked. I don't know what that is. Probably gonna raise the side a tiny bit. And yeah, this side has, this car has all tines on it. Um, just gotta finish putting the headlight in, take the stickers off, place the exhaust, take all the stuff out of the interior, and then it's ready to sell. This car still needs a little bit, um, but we're getting close to finishing up this car at least. Uh, oh yeah, we need lower arms, son of a bitch. We'll figure that out. Yeah, I'll show you that the other side fitment is very similar to that side. Honestly, this side still has like a little bit more camber than the other side does. So, uh, yeah, that'll get the Of course. Uh, but other than that, 
Hope you guys enjoyed the video. The next video will be probably more disassembling and finishing up and getting the black car looking a little better, um, ready to sell. You'll see me take apart the red car a little more and whatnot. Um, still got a little, a decent amount of stuff to do, but I'm trying to get it done as fast as possible. I need to get it done this week. Um, it just sucks trying to find everything um, and do it all at the same time. Yeah. Okay. So yeah, hope you guys enjoyed. Um, if you guys are excited for the new possibilities of what's possible to come on the channel because I have some ideas. Um, so yeah, have a good one. Peace out.